Gunpowder Milkshake, dropping on Netflix this past week. Um, they, was this a movie you were uh, anticipating at all? It was not a movie I was anticipating. I just saw it on the calendar uh, earlier in the year. Shot in 2019. Acquired by SDX and then later sold by SDX to Netflix earlier in 2021. So another movie of pre product of pre quarantine that needed to to get out and wasn't it wasn't anticipating it didn't really know much about it but then you look at that cast and you you know just think about what what kind of the, the premise and it's like it's definitely appealing so certainly um i had that going in definitely yeah i, I obviously i'm not as tuned in, tuned in as you are um I was I had no expectation to go into this movie and I found it to be pretty fun, a little long. Um but some of the action set pieces are unique, not things we've seen in other uh I think action films before. It had a very um baby driver type of feel to it to me a, a lot of the time. I mean even I guess like this is drive, but like the way she wears that uh you know, like a bowling jacket zipped up all the way reminds me of drive and then the stylistic choices reminded me a little bit of baby driver so there, mm-hmm. there was some familiarity in, in the overall um feeling to the movie right did you enjoy it i i did enjoy it i wasn't super wowed by it but i, I think it, i think it's pretty solid um i was actually struck with the comparisons like the the world building reminded me a lot of John Wick 3. It's ah. an action movie in a like a, a world of a hitman and assassins and stuff. But like the fact that they have like these rules that it's a oh you uh, you drop off your gun, right? The the mm-hmm. wait, the waitress takes it. They le- you leave it at the desk when you go to the magic doctor for the hit, right? Right? It's like this reminds me of John Wick 3 with the coin. This reminds I- me of Hotel Artemis with with yep. you know, stuff like that. So I think that's becoming a bit of a convention with uh, movies that ha- try and feature like visceral action, but want mm-hmm. have franchise ambitions. Notably, uh, this is a co-production with Studio Canal, you know, Copro in Europe. They announced uh, recently that they are developing a sequel to this, which we assume they would put out on Netflix again. And you can tell that because like there, there's kind of world world asp- aspirations, right? But even putting that to the side action movie with Karen Gillan, Lena Headey, Angela Bassett, Michelle Yeoh. It's like, yeah, I would like to see that. Yeah, and I thought it was pretty enjoyable, like I said. Um, you know, I think uh, Karen Gillan uh, as Sam is a little bit wooden. I-, I think that's intentional with the character's um, you know, backstory being orphaned and put into this world of uh, you know, being an assassin from a very young age, not having a lot of, um, you know, support in her life beyond the the kindness of some of the people in her life. But, um, you know, I I felt like the, the standout things to me were just I, I think about that action scene right where her like arms aren't working and how they like thought of that super creative and like all the aspects yeah. that I thought were really fun. Um, then the you know her arms aren't working and she has to get out of the parking garage with the kid in her lap. I thought that was a great scene. And then the the ending scene you mentioned at the library where you know all the, the women are fighting the male assassins together it was just really fun. So uh, well, I think there's this isn't a movie that's gonna be nominated for any awards. I guess maybe some technical ones uh, potentially. I don't I don't think so, but um, I think overall it was still a really just a fun, pleasurable, yeah. turn your mind off watch. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's like I, I don't know if I have like a whole that much, all that much to say. I, I like the ingenuity of of the action, like you said. I think the stuff when Karen Gillan can't use her arms is mm-hmm. it's really really fun, quite convincing. Um, this doesn't have quite the like visceral R rated like f you up shit like John Wake or or nobody early this year of Bob Odenkirk. It's not quite at that level, but it, but it, again, it's it's in that vein. And I agree, like, I like Karen Gillan overall, but I actually think she's better when it's a little lighter, like, uh, like in Jumanji, you know, it's still kind of yeah. action stuff, but she's just, I think, a better performer that way. This is like, 
her trying to be like Uma Thurman and kill Bill, n- not as convincing. Like yeah, she can do the right. action of it all, but like the, the the emotion of it is maybe not all the way there. Now, how did you feel about Angela Bassett? I, I I just something about her performance I just found like very strange. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I'm not sure. Like her, her and Michelle Yeoh in particular, it's like they they not someone I two two actors I would have expected to pop up in something like this. You know, given not the status all. of their their careers, you know, Lena Headey, it's one of her first notable roles post Thrones, by from mm-hmm. what I can remember. Um, but yeah, like Yeo and and Bassett, they're just kind of there. But I, I don't know. I I kind of like the energy, like the the stuff with the library, like in the early yeah. going when they're like dressing down Karen Gill and deciding if they're gonna kill her or not. Like I like that. That was fun. Well, I wanted to ask you know in that library scene, they they all use different weapons. Uh, you know, Florence Michelle Yao has a chain that she's like whipping around and yeah. Angela Bassett's got the hammers. What would be your weapon? What would you want to use in that that scenario? Oh god, that's a good question. I thought um, the chains were pretty pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, in video games when it's melee weapons, I always try and get something super up close. So I don't something boring like this just a normal sword, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Oh not <laughs> yeah, not a, a gold bar. <laughs> that that was a, a pretty fun i need a little there. range i need to take advantage of my long <laughs> arms that's that's true play to your strengths um <laughs> it, you know i think overall if you're on netflix looking for something to watch you can do a lot worse than yeah. gunpowder milkshake so and Check just one out. last note i really love the laughing gas stuff like yeah those guys just all high on laughing gas can't talk without laughing it made me laugh like that was just it was really funny <laughs>